In this video, we're going to look at a new collaborative workflow with Nuke using Live Groups. Live Groups are a powerful new way to collaborate in compositing pipelines inside of Nuke. There are two new nodes. Similar to a pre-comp node or a gizmo, there is the addition of the Live Group node. There is now also the Live Input node. This node is an enhanced input node which can be used along with the Live Groups. There are two intended workflows for these nodes. The first is for the node to be used as a shared tool across multiple comps as an alternative to gizmos or tool sets. The second is a way for multiple artists to be collaborating on a single shot at the same time. For example, let's say we have a situation where three artists are working on a single shot at the same time. Previously you would need to render each section separately in order for the next artist to begin their work. Now you can have a live stream of the different live groups so that everyone can work simultaneously without having to render. Each artist can create their live group versions that the other artist can access immediately. You can also get expression linked data from the live groups. Everything from camera data, tracking, color, any numerical data, even metadata. Let's take a look at one example of a possible collaborating compositing workflow. We'll focus on the live group node. Let's assume the role of three artists, one working on the background, one working on the foreground, and one adding the final touches in grading. We'll start as the artist that has the beauty pass. The artist will move through the composite to a point of which it's ready to be shared as a live group. From here we'll grab a selection of nodes and create a live group. We're going to go ahead and publish our live group. Let's find a path, name it, and publish. Notice the icon for the live group is gray, letting us know that we're reading the script off of disk. Let's have a look inside the live group. The important thing to note is that if we're going to make changes to the node tree, the live group's icon will change color, signaling that the live group has been modified and we're no longer reading the script off of disk. We also have the option to expose knobs. Let's pick some knobs that we feel would be beneficial to other artists working on the shot. Maybe the studio has a standard set of knobs that will be exposed for every live group, or let's say that rather than importing the 3D camera for every file, we can expose its values from here. This was never possible before using Nuke's pre-comp node. At this point, the foreground artist can continue to work on the shot. Now our background map painter has been assembling the assets and wants to begin to composite with context. Let's create a live group and load in the script. If there are multiple versions, we can quickly alt up or down to switch between them. We can expose what's in the group. We can open the live group in a new Nuke script. We can also make the live group local. We can see the exposed knobs we can work with, so we can quickly make a camera and expression link the values. The matte painter can continue to work, and at the same time the finishing artist has assembled the atmospheric elements and now wants to do some grading. Depending on how our pipeline is set up, we can create a live group node for the foreground and one for the background. We can now begin to work on the shot at the same time as the other two artists, allowing for a full collaborative workflow. At this point, we could begin to create dailies, or if all the renders are complete and we have sign-off on all aspects of the comp, we can write it out to disk.